Welcome to Real Terms for AI with Jason and Aja. Most of our previous videos, we've talked about how you should try a particular LLM or token count or rag technique and see if it works for your data. But we haven't actually talked about how you can tell if something works. I believe the AI people call this evaluation. It would take an entire season of videos to go through all the details and techniques you could use for evaluation. But here, we're gonna hit on a few things that we're thinking about. So starting at the basics, I've heard evaluation before, and I've heard a bunch of stuff about like benchmarks and leaderboards for LLMs. Is that what we're talking about here? No. Think of it this way. You can evaluate a model, or you can evaluate the application that you build on top of the model. We're going to talk about the applications that you build and how you evaluate those, because that's actually more relevant to most developers out there. Yeah, that makes sense. But wouldn't a model with better benchmark scores make my application that uses that model also perform better? Also, not necessarily. Often, a better model will help, but there are other factors like your prompt templates, your approach to RAG, and any fine tuning that you've done, such as your algorithmic approach or quantization, that can change your actual quality. OK, so today we're talking about evaluating the code we write, not the code that is in the model we're using. That makes sense. And if we're going to evaluate how good an AI application is, we need to start with some examples of good responses to various inputs that our LLM may receive. You may also hear these sometimes called ground truths. I think I've also heard it called a golden data set. Simile or analogy, one of the two. Anyway, we can compare what our AI app outputs are with known good data to make sure that our AI's responses are both accurate and truthful to that golden data set. In addition to accuracy or truthiness, we can also use known good responses to make sure that the AI is stylistically responding in the way we want. For example, we can evaluate if the AI is polite enough or if the responses are of an appropriate length. But how do we get that data to evaluate our app against? Well, there are actually a number of ways we could do it. One potential source is directly from your users. If your policies allow it, you can use logs of interactions with your AI or with other agents and the ratings of those interactions to find the ones that are the most helpful. You may also be able to manually create a data set using your knowledge of your users and the domain the AI application is designed to work in. I think the most interesting option here in this space, though, is actually generating an evaluation data set using AI. So how does that work? Wouldn't the AI just generate output that it's going to do well on? Uh, you would think that, but no. Uh, you generate your golden data set using carefully constructed prompts and potentially examples of the types of data that you actually want to use. For example, you can ask an AI to generate 50 examples of customers that want to sign up for a library card based on a few handwritten examples that you provide. But what if the AI just spits out a bunch of bad examples or a bunch of examples that are all exactly the same? Do you remember when we talked about LLMs as judges? This is why it's important to validate any synthetic data that you generate with AI. You can have a human evaluate it, potentially scoring the examples of how good they are. You could also ask a different AI to evaluate the generated data set. Remember LLMs as judges? But even if you use a model to validate the generated output, you need a human to look it over to make sure that the synthetic data represents the way that you want your AI application to behave. OK, so let's say I have that golden data set. Now what? How do I evaluate whether my AI application is any good? Well, what we need to do is actually define specific metrics that we care about for our application. For example, if your AI application involves answering user questions, you may care about things like relevance, accuracy, politeness, fluency, and even response length. You might also care about maybe how long it takes your application to generate a response, if it's particularly latency sensitive. Or maybe you've got some metrics around the number of tokens sent or received. There are literally dozens of possible metrics. And for each metric, there may be several different algorithms or techniques for evaluating a prompt response pair on that metric. And we actually call this pointwise evaluation. Now, you may want to define your own metrics as well based on your knowledge of your system, the domain, and your users. If you do this, you'll need to come up with clear criteria to evaluate your responses and, most importantly, have a consistent approach to your scoring. OK, so let's do an example. Maybe you want to define your own metric and evaluation for how well your AI is personalizing its responses to the specific user. You could evaluate responses on whether they include accurate personalizations and potentially also like how many, many personalizations they include, like maybe the name or a preference the user has. 
So if we have an AI application, we have a golden data set, and we have some metrics that we care about, now what we need to do is actually run our evaluation. And there are off-the-shelf tools that you can use to do this, including evaluation services like Vertex AI's Generative AI Evaluation Service. So for my research, most of these tools are pretty similar. You select the metrics you want to evaluate on, you provide an evaluation data set, and then you ask the tool to run the evaluation and give you the results. And one of the advantages of using an evaluation service is that you can easily try several variations of your prompts, model parameters, or even base models that you call to see which ones will actually give you the best results for your use case. And these tools often integrate with other tools to provide you historical records of all these different experiments that we've tried. So if you want to use Vertex AI's Generative AI Evaluation Service, we've linked to a page with many different tutorials in the description box below, so you can try a bunch of different features of that product. And of course, you could also build your own evaluation pipelines, where you set up your own set of sample prompts, evaluate the responses on your metrics, and then summarize the results and maybe materialize them somewhere else. So that's all awesome. But one of the questions I've had is like, when do you do this evaluation step? Like, do you treat your evaluation as like this one-time thing you do right before your initial launch to make sure that your app works? Do you run the evaluation regularly, like on every check-in, because it kind of looks like an integration test? Or do you run evaluation on every single response that your application outputs in real time? Yes. There are many ways we can do this, right? And today we've actually been talking mostly about offline evaluation. With offline evaluation, you can run this while you're building your application to improve it and to ensure that your application is meeting your quality bars before you deploy it. You can also use offline evaluations as part of your machine learning operations or ML ops pipelines to ensure that any changes that you would make to your application code don't negatively impact your metrics that you may be displaying as a part of your flow. That leaves evaluating the responses in real time as the application generates them. And of course, you can do this too. And we touched on it briefly in our video on advanced RAG architectures. One thing you can do here is evaluate an LLM's response before you send it to a user. You can do this either with simple metrics or by actually sending the response back to an LLM with another prompt to evaluate the response on things like relevancy and politeness. And if the response doesn't meet your bar, you can always try generating a new response. Now, there are a number of other techniques you can use for online evaluation that can improve a fine-tuned model or improve your app iteratively in real time as well. So let me do a quick summary to make sure I tracked everything we talked about today. So evaluation is a technique that makes sure our AI-powered application is producing the results that meet our needs. To do evaluation, you need some metrics or the things you care about, like accuracy, latency, tone, helpfulness. You also need some evaluation data, either prompts with responses as ground truth or a golden data set, or even potentially just a set of test prompts. And then you can use off-the-shelf tools or roll your own method of evaluating your application. Finally, evaluation can be helpful at many stages of the application lifecycle, from initial development through that application running in production. I think that summarizes it pretty well. Hope everyone out there has a great time putting evaluation into your apps and into your development lifecycles. Until next time, this is Aja and Jason. Happy prompting. <laughs>